The, the other thing is, if we are going to comply with our policy mm. statement, if we are buying off-the-shelf materials, the same as everybody else does, how are we going to differentiate the performance of the product? Right. And the answer right. is you can't. Yes. So for that reason, we develop, for example, the rubber ourselves. We will test it. This, by the way, is a test piece that we break with the cut out of the rubber. This is a pretty rubber shroud. And what we will do is we will cut dumbbells out of the shroud. And then we put, we'll uh, maybe put them in the sun or age them in chemicals or whatever and then pull them apart in this tensile testing machine. So we've got a, a dumbbell in there. If I pull it as much as I can, I get about that much extension. If you have a look, this has already exceeded that amount of extension. And on the screen there, you can see the elongation versus the force. So we'll just wait. I think already that's a fairly impressive rubber. Um, that, that's as much as I can put it. The elongation here, I think, is better than what you will get on any rubber that you can buy off the shelf. So we are already at nearly 300 millimeters from that length there. It's probably going to go any minute, but I think you'll agree that that's fairly, fairly interesting performance for a, for a runner. That elongation is, is exceptional. We, uh, um, for example, a, a flame-proof cable gland, people's lives depend on those rubber components in there. Now this rubber doesn't have to be UV resistant at all, mm -hmm. but it does have to have a lot of compression set That's resistance. That's right, and that can't relax. Exactly. And, you know, the, the lifespan of these items is around 30 years, typically, the lifespan of, a, of an installation. So the, the requirements of that rubber are different to that rubber. So we don't just buy it off the shelf, we develop the rubber specifically for that. I, mean, I think that's, that's a key point. I mean, I think you've used the word before. What you've got here is a system. Indeed. And it's the, the ability to control yeah. the quality and the performance of each component in the system, which Absolutely. ultimately gives you the credibility that you look for Absolutely. in terms of the product integrity. One of the other core policies that we have from a marketing point of view, is very high X-Store service levels. Now, in order to achieve a high X-Store service level and the policy statement of, of uh, the, the performance of the product has to be, we, we tend to make everything in-house. What you see on this table, absolutely everything is made in-house, with the exception of maybe the stainless steel screws in the cap cap. Um, but even the materials, for example, this material that this EXE rated cable junction mm -hmm. box is made from, we make the material, we, we make the plastic that this is made from. So you can smack that with confidence? Uh, I'll show you in the laboratory. Fantastic. I'll okay. take you into our research lab and um, this has to have impact resistance and you'll see it has huge impact so, what interests me, what, what really encourages me, is we're talking here about a South African company, always was a South African company, claiming to be the best in the world, and by what you're telling us, it sounds like it is, and I think that's intriguing to me. Yeah, look, on our adhesives, it's fairly easy to, to uh, prove. Uh, bring us an adhesive, we'll put it in a tensile testing machine, we'll compare it with ours, we pull it apart, we look at the, the reading, and, and it's easy to test. With this, it's a multifunctional right. type of, of product um, and you have to test a lot of parameters. The pull-out strength of the cable on this must be good. The impact resistance must be good. The entire system uh, has to be evaluated. So it's not quite as easy to definitively identify that. So what we do is we say that this product as a system mm -hmm. must 
right. performance-wise exceed that of any competitor. And just to wrap up, I mean, here's, here's a product that my household knows very, very well. I think everybody in my house knows this product very, very well. And that's the Pratty Putty, which I think everybody out there who's not in the industry associates the company with. There's one thing I want to just check with you. I mean, I'm looking at bulldozers and men on the moon's fantastic, but at the back, there's an interesting word. It says BGS, asterisk. What is yeah. that all about? Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it also says, uh, go to our website and have a look. But I'll, I'll let you into the secret. Yeah, let's have a look. In, in the early days, before we were in the adhesives industry, um, and I, I mentioned this, this product earlier, our electrical uh, sales representatives used to go out selling electrical products, but they would take the first Prattly Putty, which in those days was called Prattly Plastic Putty. And they would go to people on the mines, electricians, foremen and so on, artisans, and they would demonstrate the Prattly Putty and sometimes leave a sample. Now, all of those representatives had to write a report right. to management right. on every call, and I, I read still do that. Especially when you go to the mine. Maybe. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. yeah, well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, that report, uh, management started reading these reports, and we kept coming up with exactly the same comment from our reps, because they would go back to the person on the mine, and he would say, that stuff that you left here the other day, it's bloody good stuff. BGS, BGS. very, very good. And there's um, your policy statement on the back, so. The policy statement is on every product, um, and on the diesel products, there's the BGS. Kim, thank you very, very much. This is brilliant. Thank yeah, you. Thank pleasure, you. Yeah.